A liberal homosexual ACLU lawyer, professor, and abortion doctor was teaching a class on Karl Marx. Before the class begins, he demanded, you must get on your knees and worship Karl Marx and accept that he was the most highly evolved being the world has ever known, even greater than Jesus Christ. At this moment, a brave, patriotic, pro-life Navy SEAL champion who had served 1,500 tours of duty and understood the necessity of war and fully supported all military decisions made by the United States stood up and held up a rock. How old is this rock, Pinhead? The arrogant professor smirked and smugly replied, 4.6 billion years, you stupid Christian. Wrong. It's been 5,000 years since God created it. If it were 4.6 billion years old, and evolution, as you say, is real, then it should be an animal by now. The professor was visibly shaken and dropped his chalk and copy of Origin of the Species. He stormed out of the room, crying those liberal crocodile tears. The same tears liberals cry for the poor, who today live in such luxury that most own refrigerators. When they jealously try to claw justly earned wealth from the deserving job creators. There is no doubt that at this point our professor... Deshaun Washington wished he had pulled himself up by his bootstraps and become more than a sophist liberal professor. He wished so much that he had a gun to shoot himself from embarrassment, but he himself had petitioned against them. The students applauded an all-registered Republican that day and accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. An eagle named Small Government flew into the room and perched atop the American flag and shed a tear on the chalk. The Pledge of Allegiance was read several times and God himself showed up and enacted a flat tax rate across the country. The professor lost his tenure and was fired the next day. He died of the gay plague, A and was tossed into the lake of fire for all eternity. Semper Fi. This was posted by Chris Jackson on Facebook. Thank you, Anubis, for bringing it to my attention.